Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. Um, sorry if the audio is shit, I haven't got my mic on me here. So let's talk about the ply tanks. So they're sitting here, collecting dust. They've even become a storage area for some offcuts and parts. Um, I want to start on them today, get back into it, I really do. But, I just can't get motivated. What are you talking about? My camera. Oh. Everyone, that's Jules. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go home and call my lawn because it needs doing. Um, it's like 100 square metres and last night I managed to do like 10 square metres, so pretty um, slow process. Yes, I could get someone in to core it, but it's not in my budget at the moment, guys. If you guys keep buying more fish off me, maybe I'll be able to afford it. But at the moment, my room is costing more to run than I'm actually getting cash flow in. Hmm. In saying that, but guys, fish sales have increased. Now, one of my objectives with this YouTube channel was um, increased fish sales. Another one is get a food sponsor and the third one is a thousand subscribers so I think we're working well on number one I'll see you at home so I got home guys and I started pitchforking the lawn I probably did I think I did four passes so one two one two three four maybe i did about a meter last night probably done half of that today but it's so fucking hard guys um it has to be done like when i walk on here now i can already feel the difference and i haven't even put the wetter soil on it yet and yes i know i could get somebody to core it for me for like a dollar a square meter but the problem is I've had it cored before and it, it doesn't go deep enough so last year I had it cored and I put wetting agent on it I put seaweed or oh, sea salt on it and fertilizer and all we had one 40 degree day the first 40 degree day of summer last year the whole lot died I'm talking like dead, dead. It was it was green, like it was looking good. It was actually looking better than it is now. Let's have a look at these guys, what they're doing. So it was looking better than it is now, and it just died like bang. And I'm so so scared that it's going to happen again. So I'm doing my best. I've got um, I've got fertilizer. Um, what have we got? Phosphate high fertilizer, I think it is, to promote root growth. Um, seaweed secrets, which is like sea salt, and eco wet, which is a wetting agent, and knife plus, which I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's either iron or magnesium or both, like a greening agent anyway so with those products hopefully we can save it this year see how we go if any of you guys are right into your lawn drop a comment below tell me if you think i'm doing the right thing um it's like a fucking science guys i, I can breed fish but i can't keep the lawn green that's how it rolls for me anyway i'm gonna go in the fish room and have a look see what's happening all right guys <clears throat> ignore the mess but we're up here for this. So, I was thinking about moving fish around to create some space to put some fry in. And I forgot I had these. I don't know if you guys remember these. Some of the OGs might. These are those dividers that I made and they've got... You can just see one there. They've actually got plastic rods through them so they're rigid. Rigid-ish. Oh, I always forget to shut the door behind me. Um, 
and then I wonder why the temperature drops like 600 degrees. Alright, so that's going in this tank here. So these fry are going to get pushed over and just like that we create another fry grow out space. Let's do it. I've got bits of this slate everywhere. It drives me up the fucking wall. I haven't used slate for breeding for years. It used to be in my display. I had like a massive stack of like 30 pieces. But we don't need display slate anymore. We're breeding. So um, that can go out of the fish room. Anyway, let's try and get this divider in with one hand. Um, that way. Now, this is going to be fun in another aspect. We've got to try and get the fish all on one side. So, I reckon we go this way. One little guy. Get out, buddy. Get out. Go. We've done it, guys. Hang on. If I hold that there, you guys have got a decent angle. Can you see? Probably not really, eh? Um, this one looks a bit tight. I'm wondering if this divider, where's my finger? I'm wondering if this divider here isn't quite center. Probably not. I didn't build these tanks, guys. I bought them second hand. Um, as you can tell by this nice big crack here, they've had repair jobs. But you guys know I'm not as afraid of a cracked tank. Guys, check out how fast these electric yellows are growing. Um, so like that's a dim dimmy comp there, they're the same age. That's bizarre. Um, I might have to pull the dimmy comps out of here. It looks like they're going to need to be isolated and grown separate. Um, if anyone's interested, I've got plenty of Bengo and Hongi there that are three centimeters I'm not selling the Demosoni because I'm building myself a new colony for like the fourth time every time I build a colony they wipe each other out and then I build another one but it's not such a bad thing because I've been able to select from the fry and my colony has actually got better each time all right guys so we've got code blue in this fry saver I don't want to put code blue over there because it's next to Benga. So I think what I'm going to do here, I might pull the these guys out of here and put them over in that one because they're Benga. And then I'll put these ones in that tank. Um, I'm not going to film moving them guys. You guys have seen me move fish before. Um, I don't think it's necessary. Check out this little, where is it? Uh, the camera's not going to show it. Little code blue already starting to colour up. That's cool because um, I actually need a new male for the colony. Um, I lost my dominant male. But my subdominant male is is um, showing up to the plate. I don't know if he died, what the reason that he died, but I. Th I'm suspecting age because I actually got these guys as an adult colony and um, there's some good size on them too like cobes usually don't get that big so they were full size when I got them um, I'm not I didn't lose sleep over the loss it's not like a I don't I'm 90% sure it's not disease so yeah we'll, we'll just start adding some fresh fish to that colony I reckon um, they still constantly breed, but yeah, maybe we'll pull the cobes out of this batch, let them grow a bit more, let them get to like at least five centimeters and swap them out. All right, anyway, I'm gonna move them and I'll get back to it. Let's empty all these tumblers, hey? Everyone's free swimming. Um, they're all good to go.
All right, so the fry roll in the fry savers and tanks, but if you guys remember the other day, I pulled this one batch to go in the Ziz tumbler. Um, so what had happened, the suction cups gave way, this had pulled through, and the air stone was in there like that, completely blocking the pipe. So the eggs weren't tumbling. Um, they still look alive, but I don't, am I meant to have the air stone, if the air stone's up there, to me that's too high, but you can't, and then if you put it down there, it doesn't quite fit in that space, like, I don't know guys, can you help me out here? Because right now I'm ready to throw this fucking piece of shit in the bin. Second this product in a week that's absolute crap in my eyes. Um, I've been putting off buying one of these for like two years and just using these. Seven dollars, best thing you could ever buy. Take the sponge out the bottom, glue some fly wire on with super glue, job done. 50 fucking dollars and a piece of shit. I'm raging guys. I, I, I managed to swap this one for a male Masobo. If I paid $50 for this, I'd be asking for my money back. Like, that air stone is the same diameter as the pipe. That's fucking retarded. Sorry for the language guys, but this is a bucket of shit. And while we're on the subject of this tumbler guys, I don't know if you guys ever saw, I can't, I don't know where I've put it. I made like a DIY tumbler and it was out of a wine glass and it was replicating the design of the Zis. It had like a straw coming down. And the problem was where the egg, egg sat around the edge was building up with like this fungusy crap. And I thought it was just because like the shape of the wine glass wasn't correct or like crappy plastic or like just a flaw in my homemade design but if you guys if this will focus come on can you guys see that shadow just around above the eggs you can just see it that's the same issue that I was having in my homemade one. On that, if I come out there, you can actually see it better. On that side there, um, that white. So that's the issue I was having with my homemade one. And it's pretty clear here to see that these ones have the same issue. So in short, I'm not buying another Ziz tumbler. Safe to say that. <clears throat> I'll be getting more of these bad boys here. Now, the 50 mil ones are the go. These, tw the 25 mil ones, they're pretty average. I'm not a huge fan of these ones. But, <clears throat> if, so, the, f the 50 mil one cut down to that, so that height with the, but still, Height lift tube so you don't have to use as much air. That's my ideal combination. I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm just going to order more of these. I'm going to replace the 25 millimeter ones and I'm going to go with that. Um, one of the main reasons I wanted to change was because I was having the fungus issues, but adding, adding these air lifts here solved that problem. Look at the tank, guys. It's a little bit of mess, but it's not like, remember the other week how I was raging about how messy it was? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't. I went into this with an open mind. I've always considered this to be overpriced for what it is. And um, between the air stones, and the tumbler. I don't think I'll ever buy this product again. I like the look of the fry savers, 
but again the price tag ridiculous like these things here I got fly wire in the backyard tube of silicon is always around the house and a three dollar container and they work mint and then I've even got one over here <clears throat> it's got an airlift in it and it's actually a little mini sponge filter but I've lost the sponge filter so <laughs> it's just an airlift um, so there we go I've replicated as this tumbler for like under ten dollars anyway I think I'm gonna call the video at that Comment below guys if you've used a Zist tumbler and what you did with that air stone. Either A, it's a shit design, or B, I'm going to look like an idiot because I've set it up wrong. Um, there's probably a real easy solution. If you've got it, comment below. Um, yeah, it's just frustrating to say the least. I don't mean to come off like I'm bagging out the company, but... Um, I've used two of their products in the last week and both of them are shit so as I said I would buy the fry savers if I had a million dollars to spare <clears throat> all right so I'll see you tomorrow guys hopefully tomorrow is a little bit more of an upbeat video what day is it Wednesday I really want to get stuck into the ply tanks but motivation is zero completely zero like zero times zero so maybe we'll get into it maybe we won't i don't know yet see you guys tomorrow peace out